The band is in this country bigger than it's ever been. People just like coming to see us, having a few drinks, hearing old songs and singing their hearts out. I think we've become one of those bands. The reaction to the tour two years ago took us all by surprise. We've been playing together for two, nearly three years again now, so we feel a lot tighter and we feel like we, we did have more to offer. You get a ticket to see Shed 7, you know what you're going to get before you go. You're going to get a good night out. It's going to just be an hour and a half of songs that you can sing along to. As a live band, I think we, 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 we've surprised ourselves and we, are, we do seem to be more popular than we were two years ago, and that was a surprise how many people turned out two years ago. But Overall, there's going to be more people come to see us on this tour. They write really good records. They're great pop songs. They're great rock songs. Whatever you want to call them, I'm not precious about it. They're great songs. Without somebody like Chris Moyles, we, we wouldn't have had the success that we'd had. It's really nice to have someone on your side, really, who, who is relevant and who's not afraid to say that they think you're quite good. I think people kind of go, oh, I remember this. So it always gets a good reaction when you play a Shed 7 track on the air, and, and it's always surprising how many people, even if they don't consider themselves fans, kind of go, oh, I love this song. friends uh, and it just feels like the same old people just a bit creaky. We haven't planned anything to, to mark the um, 20th anniversary as yet but for the fans it's one thing but as a band you know that's something to be really proud of the fact that we've managed to stay together for all that time.